All right, so then we're gonna come back to the right side of the engine cowling, and we're going to very gently bring it upward, making sure we clear the blades. There is a bar in here that we can take and put between the nuts on the engine there. Now you wanna be real careful with this, make sure it's secure. When we let go, we wanna make sure it doesn't drop down. Obviously, if you're outside, you need to be worried about wind and other helicopters and so forth. So now what we'll do is we'll start on the other side of the helicopter. And we'll come up here and take a look at the engine. Now, since this is not attached securely up here, you don't want to rest your hand here as you're inspecting the engine. Obviously, if this would come down, you would do a lot of damage to your hand. Uh, with the force of that cowling. So let's take a look at the left side of the engine here. One of the things that we do when we're looking at our engine is for general condition. We're looking for any kind of leaks, any kind of discoloration. We want to make sure that there's no leaks coming out from any of these lines, that any plugs are plugged in. There shouldn't be an empty socket here. This is the fuel control system. If we look up here, we have our pop-out indicator for our fuel filter. Notice there's no longer a pop-out indicator on the oil filter. We did another video on how we know if this is getting clogged. Again, look at the deck for any kind of leaks and general condition of the engine. All right, and then we'll go on to the other side of the helicopter and look at the right side of the engine. And again, as we come up here, we're looking for general condition of the engine, discoloration, leaks, loose lines, plugs that are not plugged in. All right, and now we're going to resecure the engine cowling. So again, take your right hand on your palm here, lift it up, and you notice that bar then becomes loose. We take it inside here and attach it, and then very gently bring it down and secure it in place. 